and today I'm going to be showing you, um, telling you a bit about boxing. So um, as you can see, I'm skipping getting the body, um, loosening up the muscles and get, getting ready to um, for an, an intense workout. And I'm um, on my toes, double jumps to get all the all the parts of my body working. I'm, the arms are loosening up for boxing and the legs for footwork for moving around the ring. The arms so um, I can extend my job full on and I'm my right hand and quick movement so it picks up the pace of my boxing and as you can see I'm on my toes which is get preparing me for moving around fast in the ring now as you can see I'm doing a quick pad work and this is working on my dodging and slipping so I'm moving around moving around the ring and as as it's my op opponent in front of me I'm moving around cutting off the ring dodging which it obviously it's a movement and it shows you it shows you um, obviously as you can see it's I'm, I'm slipping and dodging, which which is um, obviously at the pro league. That's how they box and dodge and slip. So this is getting me preparing me for uh, for a proper fight, so I can dodge slip properly. As you can see now, I'm throwing a jab, slip, and a hook. So as I throw my jab, I walk in. It's, it's just one step in with the jab, and with your right hand in front of your face, so to block in any other punches and s slip towards slip towards your left. It's a straight away you have to do it. So obviously that's dodging your opponent's punch and then a hook coming straight straight after. Now as you can see I'm doing a double jab of one, two, and mixing the combinations up, getting my blood flowing. And um it's it's all movement after the punches so you don't get caught by your opponent or nothing. So as soon as I punch, bring my hands back up so I'm not getting caught with nothing and in and out on my toes. So obviously so you're not standing there trading shots or getting caught. Now as you can see, I'm going through another drill and going through more technique of jab, slip, hook, and just normal shots like jab there. My hands in front of my face, so I'm protecting any other shots that are coming back. If I don't keep my hand in front, my right hand in front of my face, I can get caught with something that's coming back. But here, the, my opponent's not scoring those shots. Now, one, two. So, I'm a straight jab and then twist the, sh twist the waist for the right hand to generate the power. And as soon as I step in, with with my jab that that generates power there as well and then when my when I'm hooking I'm twisting my body into the hook to generate all the body power and my hook is supposed to I make sure that my elbow is coming up to protect my face as well to keep my opponent away and my hands are back up there protecting my chin so I don't get caught with nothing silly and I'm moving back out after creating a distance between my opponent after and the hook there's a double hook now to catch in if I miss with one catch him with the other and I need to make sure I'm twisting my body both ways for the hooks and my foot I'm always on my toes moving in and out there one two and back hands back up as soon as I throw my jab my my left hand comes back up and then my right hand and I'm slipping when I'm moving away so I don't get caught with nothing silly as you can see I'm not standing in one spot I keep I'm I'm moving around the ring which obviously when you're in a fight. You want to keep moving around the ring so you, you're not a standing target. It's not easy for your, uh, the opponent to hit you. So you're moving around, throwing, throwing, throwing shots, coming out at angles, which shows, obviously, I've been doing it for five years now of my life, and which, obviously, I'm, I'm a boxer as well. And, obviously, the skill, it's, it's all about skill. So jab, slip, hook, you're moving out of the reach of, the right hand, of your opponent's right hand. So you're making a miss, and then, obviously their reaction time and obviously that's when you can come in and catch them off the guard and I'm moving around the ring in angles and then here you go now we've got football and as you can see I'm doing a, just a straight shot into the goal and I'm using the side of my foot to to obviously for accuracy and I'm having a four or five step run up to generate power at the same time as accuracy as you can see now this is a run up in slow motion so as I'm running up to the ball, the steps get larger. So obviously you can have your power and accuracy balanced out. And then you come in in an angle so you can get your accuracy right. Now as you can see, I'm dribbling through the cones and, sh and shooting. This gets you um, this gets you more control over the ball. So in your, if you see yourself in a game situation and, you, and you've got people come, um, defenders coming to you, you can defend. As you can see now, I'm working on my throwing as well. I've done my... I did my normal throwing first, just just normal when it's a short pass. Then after I picked it up, and then um, I was doing the long distance throw where I was having three step, three step walk and then a, a throw, which is um, generates a lot more power through your throw. 
and a lot more um a lot more accuracy as well thanks for watching my video